Can I ask one other question? The, yeah. the science, the interpretive signs up there with the, the mu block signage, I feel like I've seen it. I know I've read them. I don't remember, did they, did they call that area out as a site where there was a mid-in or? or I think there is, there is some information out there. I mean, the, 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 the information does get switched out, so this hasn't been, this current uh, set of, of signage has been out for maybe just under a year, I want to say. Oh. Um, but uh, I think there are some informational posts that talk about Miwok habitations or, or activity in the, in the area. Um, but I don't know if it pointed to specific, you know, I think it's just in, in more of a generalized idea, but I haven't said that read through all of them for a while. Who, who creates that narrative? <laughs> oh, that's a great question. Uh, as far as I know, Stephen Nessel is the one who's been filling, putting the content in the sides. And I think he was originally working with the, the middle school, um, some of the teachers to create that. Um, but that's, that I'm not sure what, what the status of that is. So we, um, from a staff point of view, we maintain the, the physical signs and, and replace hardware, et cetera, as needed. But um, as far as the content, that's. Stephen's been doing it for 10 years. That's a tricky, that's tricky. Um, I have a, a dialogue with the Federated Tribes and they typically don't want their sites acknowledged and they don't want it exposed to the public. And I'm curious if we've ever had that communication with, this would probably be Grand Rancheria, the Federated Tribes of Grand Rancheria, um, if they want that. When I went through and saw the recent ones, I don't think any of them specifically call out the mid-in or anything like that. I think they're they're more broad-based in, in history and talking about the region in general yeah. and the uh, the tribes that inherited or inhabited the greater region. Right. It doesn't say if you go across this bridge, look to the right, you'll see a fence. Yeah, that's an, no, because you are you are a hundred percent right, John. That is the last thing that any of uh, that want, even when we've had cultural studies done, the archaeologist is very uh, uh, careful not to provide locations. Oh, no. but, you know, yeah. it's they, uh, to your point, they don't want, uh, for lack of a better term, uh, you know, artifact hunters or yeah. scavengers going through what they consider to be uh, historic and or holy sites. I, I think it's good that they're there. I, I think maybe just some thoughts, two things. One, make sure that's not too specific to name or even point people or even acknowledge that there was a mid in here. And then two, that maybe um, another thing that's come up in my conversations is that Native Americans typically don't want to be referred to in the past tense. They're still here. So if the language could be written in a way or thoughtful of peoples that are still here today. Yeah, like I said, we've I, never had to do with the content. I know, but, but if we're putting it up, then we are somewhat taking advantage. The history of these signs, it's definitely, there's a, there's a, I don't know, Eric, do you know the, the story of where, like, how these originated out there? Cause it's well, like, it predates me. Originally, this was a, uh, there was this very specific school teacher who was involved in it, and he was also doing some science things, and the signs originally were talking more about the biology of the immediate area. There was a loosely formed group, um, again, predates me, known as Friends of Miller Creek, uh, that Stephen Nessel was certainly involved in. I don't know how active that group is by any stretching more. Uh, this teacher kind of moved on. I don't think that the school has much to do with this uh, at all anymore. I think they've kind of worked on other projects, but it was, uh, it was definitely it was a biology teacher, I believe. Uh, and this is kind of secondhand stories that I got through Tom Horn. I think regardless of where it comes from, it signs on our land. Yeah, I don't we, disagree. We should control the narrative. I, I don't disagree. They were previously, before this round of um, current content, they were previously pointing out uh, different like plantings, native plantings in the area. Right. They were talking about features right. of that. That was really nice, actually, features of the creek and things like that. It made a lot of sense. I have a question. When we're finished, just a minute. In some, in some instance. Just a minute. Okay. When we're finished. Oh, I thought you were finished. Sound like it. I'll ask you when we're finished. Thank you. John, do you have an avenue that we could look at what's said and maybe 
Um, See if it is appropriate or not. I, you know, I have a. I try really hard to build a partnership with Native American tribes, and I have a contact. Um, it's very difficult to get them to review language. So I think, uh, you know, I would just try and not be specific, and try and be. I, the answer is no. I don't. I don't really have that. But <laughs> I, I walk the line of trying not to be offensive in how I uh, interpret these sites. In in Marin County Parklands, we just try not to. We don't put up signage about it because we don't feel like it's our place to describe it, to interpret it. Um, if we ask them, and we typically don't get responses. What about the idea of maybe some of us taking a walk out there and just reviewing it? And I would hope you would be willing with your experience and expertise. And, and then at least we could be more comfortable either with what's out there or maybe make recommendations to staff with what we do. Sure. As a person. Yeah, I would be willing to do that. Yeah. And I don't want to consider myself the expert in that, right. but, but I, I think. But I think we should control the language. If, if we would maybe without, I don't want to do a Brown Act meeting or something. But I think we have but, also the option to just replace the contact with something else. Well, I, I think if we find what's out there isn't appropriate, then we kind of make that recommendation that maybe we can't just go in and start slapping what we want on there without. Yeah. Creating a lot of ill will. I'm oh, sorry. Well, I, I don't mind it. I'm not trying to say like I don't want it to be community driven. I just want to make sure that it's a message that we all uh, can do. <coughs> so, so I was just thinking maybe a third option to consider is that the placard has a sign with the author and or say something like this is community driven. This is this content is provided by X. So it's where not the owners of the content or the curators of the content. I, right? No? I, I don't know. I, 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 uh, that doesn't feel right to me. That I would agree have. that we can't just say we don't agree with this. Yeah. And so it's his fault. But, where, but how do we cross, how do we manage the narrative of, let's say, a fifth grade science class going out there and putting up something about X, whatever, or a community member that wants to put out signs about why, and like, how do we say, well, a fifth grade can do it because it teaches things? Well, like, I'm not, I don't know how that. I think we just review, review it. it. We just review it. We just look at it. That, that's all. I, I just don't think it, those should be a free for all where anybody can put anything up they want. Somebody like you could get together and take a walk. Yeah. May I offer a suggestion, maybe? somebody reaching out to Stephen because he's obviously the author of, of this and has been for a number of years and maybe asking him to submit the prospective you know, next round of his project for the commission review. Um, I, I doubt that you all have objections to it, you know, if it's like about plants or whatever. And um, next time something regarding the Miwok tribe would come up, then you know you would be able to catch it before it gets on the little thingy jigs. I, I, I would agree with you if we do find something that is somewhat objectionable, that you know, we need to develop that process so we can see before it happens. But if it's all benign out there, then yeah. we don't need to. I mean, we could staff could, could still make that request for future, just so it doesn't happen in the future, but I think we should see what it is first before we make any other recommendations. Anything else from the Commission? Hi, Linda. Okay, one of the things I want to say is, first of all, I walk up and down the panhandle three or four times a week, and the pedestals have really nice pictures of tools, doesn't say where the tools came from, 
but underneath it says Miwok tools. Uh, they have pictures of huts and you know little tents and things, housing. They have um, dancing, you know, things like that. They have um, clothing. I mean, it's all. None of it. It, it says. This is a Miwok Trail. This is where the dead bodies are. In fact, I don't know if any of you were at the walkthrough that we had on the Panhandle where there was a lady who pointed out the 400 dead bodies over by the school. 400 dead Miwoks over by the school. Now, maybe she shouldn't have said that. But in any case, this was on a tour that somebody invited this person to come along. What I was going to say also is that last year, before the Miwoks, there were, I'm, I think there were wildlife, just information about wildlife, and that was really good. I mean, I really enjoyed reading about coyotes and all that. Before that, there was um, plants, and it showed pictures of what poison ivy looks like and poison oak and lots of stories about plants. Before that, what I think was wonderful is that the kids from Miller Creek Middle School actually drew the pictures of birds. There, you know, each one of them had a bird that they chose to draw, and they had a nice little story underneath the bird. So this has gone on for years and years and years, and this is kind of the stuff that is out there. If you all want to know what's on the the um, posts, I'd be more than willing to take a picture of every single one of them. I could send the pictures to the district manager and then he could pass them on to you guys to look at. I don't think that's necessary, but thank you.